Hey guys, it's Ariba and I'm back. So I wanted to quickly come on here and film a follow-up to my Dyson review for you guys. My inbox has been flooding with questions. So I have a few events that I have to go to tonight and I figured whilst I do my hair and get ready, I might as well um, do it for you guys and answer some of your questions that you guys have been asking me. So because this is styling my hair with mostly air as opposed to heat, like a traditional curling iron or a curling wand, a lot of you guys have been curious to know whether or not the curls have been lasting me just as good as a curling iron. So I'm gonna answer that for you guys in this tutorial. Those of you guys that watched my original review, you saw me unpackage the Smooth and Control Kit. So I'm just gonna show you really, really quickly. This is the full package. This has everything in it. This is the complete kit. Um, so it has the machine, obviously. It has your round brush. It has your uh, brush for thick hair. It has your brush for fine hair. And then it has two of your 30 millimeter uh, barrels going uh, clockwise and counterclockwise. And two of your 40 millimeter barrels going clockwise and counterclockwise. And then it has your uh, rough dry attachment. So a lot of you guys were asking me if it comes in any other colors. Right now, from what I believe, it doesn't come in any other colors. This is the only color that it comes in. And when I did my original review, I unpackaged it and used it for the very first time on camera. But now that I've been playing around with it for a couple of weeks, I've picked up a few more like tricks to help style my hair a little bit faster and easier and better uh, with this tool. So I'm gonna share those tips with you guys. And I have to leave the house in like 30 minutes. So I, this is gonna be really, really fast and to the point. So I'm gonna plug everything in and we're just gonna get right into it. So in my original review, a lot of you guys wanted to know what uh, products I used in my hair. In that review, I didn't use any products in my hair because I wanted to see how much shine and how well this styles on its very own. Uh, but today, um, because I'm going out and I wanna show you guys like how I use this on a daily basis, I am gonna be using products. So I'm using like a leave-in hair treatment that adds like a lot of shine in my hair. And it also works as a detangler. And I'm also using a blow dry uh, spray. So this just helps tame a lot of my frizz and it adds a lot of moisture in my hair. So now I'm just going in with a wet brush and I'm just like detangling my hair. Okay, so the next most asked question that I received was how much water to actually remove from your hair before you're styling it. So this is really important. I want you guys to pay attention to this part because this is something I picked up after I did the review. So what I would recommend if you guys are gonna be curling your hair with this, when you are doing your rough dry, try to focus on your root area and make sure that that's almost completely dry because when you go in with the, um, with the actual wand attachment, it doesn't smooth your hair out 100% on the root. Like because my hair is so curly, it was leaving a little bit of a kink right at my root. I don't think those of you that have straight hair or smooth silky hair or even fine hair are gonna have that problem. It's only those of us that have that really curly thick hair. It's leaving a little bit of a kink if you don't rough dry the root properly. And then for your remaining hair, you wanna leave about 50% of the moisture in your hair. For those of you that have really fine baby hair, you can take out like 80% of the moisture in your hair, no problem. So we're just gonna get right into it because I gotta go. And I have it on full blast, high heat, high air. And I'm gonna go in with my paddle brush to rough dry and make sure that my roots get a little bit of tension on them and that they're dried properly. So I'm gonna share with you guys this really simple technique that a lot of hairdressers use to create like almost double the size of volume in your hair. So it's super, super easy. All you have to do is split your hair in half. Even if you part your hair off to the side, don't stress over it. Just create two sections very roughly. And then right above your ear, you're gonna split your hair again into two sections. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna curl all of this hair 
forward so it's going to create all this big volume around here and then we're going to curl all of this hair back so the hair is basically going to be going like this so it's going to be flowing like that so it's going to create like tons of like volume and movement so very quickly i'm just going to pop on this barrel and this is the one that curls your hair forward i'm just going to hold it out and you want to hold it out straight because it wraps the easiest that way if you're curling your hair forward you're going to hold it in front of the section if you're curling your hair back you're going to hold it in the back of the section all right and that's it so we're going to heat it for 15 seconds and then we're going to put the cold glass on for 10 seconds and then i'm going to turn it off and we're going to unwrap and that's it done and then we're going to move on with our lives so a lot of you guys were asking why we do a cold blast it's because hair sets once it's heated and cooled in the same exact position so that's why you see when i curl my hair i don't pull out the curl right away i leave it alone because it's still setting until it's completely cooled down okay so i'm going to show you guys like a little trick that i picked up while using this um so when you like originally wrap your hair around this you're going to find that sometimes not all the time it doesn't like wrap perfectly so i'm going to show you how to do it how to kind of like tighten it on here I can show you better than I can explain it to you. Okay. So it's on there and you're gonna just wrap it all the way up, okay? All right, so you see how it's like a little bit loose. What you can do is just kind of roll it back and forth like that, just so it like tightens up a little bit. And the curl is on there a little bit more like seamlessly. So that's like a little trick that I've been doing. And I'm gonna turn it off and release. So we're all curled forward in here. Now we're gonna curl these back. So I'm going to unlock and I'm gonna hold this to take it off because this is still too warm to touch. Pop it off and I'm just gonna pop this on. And remember, because I'm curling the section back as opposed to curling it in the, the forward, I'm gonna hold it at the back of the section. I'm taking fairly large, like long sections. So my curls are gonna be a lot looser, okay? If you want tighter curls, even with the 40 millimeter barrel, just take smaller sections. Okay, I'm gonna blast it with a cool shot. And we're gonna turn it off and release. So all these like little baby hairs, Literally, it's not a problem. Just lift it and throw it back in because it's just air that's controlling the situation. And remember, you can always slide it out and slide it back in to get it nice and smooth. And then we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna release. Wham, bam, and don't touch it. I know you wanna touch, but don't touch. Well, can't you say a bad word? I didn't say a bad word, princess. I heard you. You heard me? Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. So to get like a little bit more tension on it, once it's wrapped in the areas that I know my hair is kinkier, like back here in the crown, I'll like pull on it a little just to get that tension really nice and tight so I know that it's really smoothing out the kinky spots in my hair. Now I'll do the cool glass, let that set, and now we're gonna release our little curl. So now I just noticed that it's getting a bit too hot for me because my hair, my scalp is a little bit more sensitive um, around my hairline but my hair is still wet, so I just turned the heat down a little bit and now it feels fine. Now I'm gonna blast it with a cool shot. Now we're gonna turn it off and release. All right, so now I'm just gonna blast it with a cool shot and release. Look at that, look at that whoosh. Ooh. 
Yes. Okay. This is done. Okay, so now that all my curls are done on this side, I'm still not opening these curls up because I'm trying to wash my hair once a week and this has to last me all week. So we're just gonna leave it in these lovely little ringlets and I'm gonna just quickly mist my hair with a medium hold hairspray. You could even go in with a light hold hairspray and I'm just gonna mist it very lightly on the curls and then I'm gonna scrunch it to make sure that it's like in there, okay? And then I'm gonna open all of these up because I'm not trying to look like Curly Sue. I will open them up eventually once this side is done. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. And just another friendly little tip, uh, the nozzle that is going back away from your face on this side is the one that's going forward on this side. I didn't switch my nozzle because the one going back here is where I ended and the one going forward here is where I started. So I'm still using the same nozzle. I'm just gonna grab another section and keep going. in there make sure it's on and then I'm gonna give it a cool blast and then we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna release nice and easy okay so all of our pieces back here are curled and before I switch out the nozzle to curl my hair back here so many of you guys asked instead of switching the nozzle if you could just hold the, the wand upside down so I'm gonna answer that for you right now okay so this is still the nozzle that is curling everything forward but I want this piece to go back so we're gonna see if it works you hold it upside down it works <laughs> um, it's just a little bit more comfortable I find to just switch out the nozzle so that you don't have to hold your hand up here the entire time so let's turn that off and release and see it's being curled back exactly the same as on this side but my arms are not strong enough for that so I'm going to switch out the nozzle because that's what it's made for. For those of you guys wondering how time consuming it is for me to style my hair with this tool, because this is a wet to dry styler, I can go ahead and just curl my hair while it's wet. Normally to get this finish, I have to completely dry and smooth my hair out with either a paddle brush or a round brush and then go in with a curling iron or a curling wand. So I'm skipping a whole entire step. So it's definitely a uh, quite a bit faster. Also another trick that you guys should keep in mind when you're sectioning your hair and you're starting from the bottom up, all of this hair is styled. So all of these damp pieces, don't just leave them hanging on top of your already styled hair. Pin them up and away from the hair that's already been curled or else it's just gonna weigh down your curls. Those of you guys wondering, and there are a lot of you, if your hair can get tangled in this wand, it cannot. There are no open ridges or cracks for your hair to get stuck in. The only way your hair is going to spiral out of control is if you release your curl before turning off your wand. So remember, you wrap it around first and you hold it in place and you turn it off before you release the curl or else it's gonna send your curl flying all over the place. Okay, so now that I know that this side is completely set, what I like to do is go in with like a shine serum and I'm just gonna use a little bit. I made this one myself. I have the DIY uh, of the shine serum on uh, my Instagram page if you guys wanna see it. And I'm just going to very quickly just kind of scrunch a little bit of shine serum into my hair. And now I'll run, kind of open them up. That's where we're at. And while we're chatting, I'm just gonna let this side set a little bit longer. So the main question that you guys asked me was, do these curls last as well as a curling iron because I'm styling with air, not heat? The answer to that is, for me personally, they are not lasting any better and they are not lasting any worse. They are lasting just as much as they would if I round brush my hair or curl my hair. It's holding just as well as anything else would. The only difference I'm noticing is that the difference between curling my hair with a curling iron and curling my hair with the air wrap is that my curls are bouncier and airier and lighter. Like this to me looks like a professional round brushed uh, curl. Like that's what it feels like. It feels like it's been curled with one of those 
smaller round brushes and blown out professionally. That's the finish this reminds me of because you're not gonna get this fluff and airiness with a curling iron or a curling wand. So that's what I've really been enjoying about this because it's making me feel all beyonce out, you know? It's all like, no. Okay, so I'm just gonna shake out this side now so that we're all like big and fab on both sides. I'm gonna be like flipping my hair around all night. I have to go to a Halloween party right now, so I'm gonna be all like, you know, hey y'all, I'm here. Okay, for this party, I need to clip in my hair extensions and I haven't curled them yet. My extremely supportive, beautiful husband is going to help me. Can you hold these up? Fine. You love it. I'm just going to spray them a little down. Hey! Hey! Say it, save me. Save Dada. So to curl your hair extensions, you want to just make sure your hair extensions are being held up by a hanger or a lovely assistant like I have here. And you're just going to mist it a little bit damp because remember this is a wet to dry styler and you need moisture in your hair to style your hair with it. And you're going to curl your hair in the same exact manner that you do your own hair. You're going to hold it 10 centimeters from the end, wrap it around the barrel, hold it up, blast your cool shot and release. <coughs> what? <coughs> okay, so I curled these this way and I curled these this way so that when I put them in, they'll all be going forward. Thanks, Boo. <laughs> you love that. <laughs> So this is what my hair looks like without the hair extensions and how I'm going to be rocking it most likely all week long. I'll also be flipping it around constantly. And this is what it looks like with the hair extensions in. Just for the party, I won't be leaving these in very long at all. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me some comments below and I'll see you guys on the next one.